This video is gonna be for anybody trying to upgrade a 3060 Ti. We're gonna go over some of the best upgrades for a 3060 Ti that you could have as of the making of this video, which is September, 2025. But the first thing is going to be for things to consider. So first is the power supply requirements. You want to make sure that your power supply um, is going to be sufficient for any GPU upgrade, because especially if you do a significant upgrade, you could actually need a more uh, powerful power supply because the new GPU could use significantly more power um, depending um, on which one you get. So you're going to need to make sure to consider that as well as avoiding any CPU bottlenecks. Now, this isn't something I think most people are going to have to worry about if you have um, an AM4 processor, like a 5600X or something like that, you're going to be able to handle any of these GPUs just fine. But if you do have an older CPU, definitely be careful of bottlenecking it too much. Um, but overall, hopefully this isn't a concern for most people. Um, what titles you play can also be something to consider because with some of these upgrades, like we're about to get into, um, depending on which titles you actually play, um, whether you're playing like story games or competitive type games, um, and what your goals are, it's going to determine on what you should actually get when you upgrade. Um, same thing goes for if you're playing in 1080p, 1440p, or if you're trying to game in 4K. For me, for instance, I play competitive games at 1080p usually, um, so that's my main focus. But if you're someone that really wants to focus on 1440p or something, then that might be something to also consider. And finally, the prices in this video are going to be based on MSRP. I know they're going to be varying widely depend depending on where you are in the world and where prices are at different times. Generally speaking, though, I find that these are around MSRP or one to two hundred dollars more. So just keep that in mind. But I will link it in the description uh, to some of these parts or all of these parts um, on Amazon if you do want to check them out there. I'll find the best listings I can and leave them there if you do want to check those out. Now first is going to be a couple honorable mentions. First is the 9060 XT. This is a 16 gigabyte card uh, talking about the VRAM. So you do get double the VRAM because the 3060 Ti has eight gigabytes. So especially for like 1440p gaming and things like that, um, it's going to be a benefit by having that more VRAM. Um, but overall, you're going to get fairly minimal gains in comparison to some of these other upgrades we're going to go over. So that's why I have this as an honorable mention. It's not something I'm going to recommend, but it is one of the more budget options. Same with the next honor honorable mention we're going to go over. But for most people, unless you're just very specifically wanting, wanting similar performance, like a slight performance gain, um, but especially a little bit more benefit or a good bit more benefit on like 1440p or higher resolutions, then this could be an okay upgrade for the price. But uh, if you're looking for serious improvements and it might be a disappointment to spend $400 and get one of these and the same thing's going to go for our next honorable mission, which is a 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte card. Um, again, I would say definitely get the 16 gigabyte card if you are going to get this. Um, this one's MSRP is a little more at about 429, um, but you do get the double VRAM um, compared to your 3060 Ti. But keep in mind the 3060 Ti compared to these is still pretty decent overall, especially if you're just gaming at 1080p. Um, so overall, it's going to be fairly minimal gains, and I don't know if it fully justifies spending 400 and some dollars. But if you're just looking to get a latest graphics card that is some improvement and definitely has more VRAM for uh, in general or 1440p or things like that, then this card's definitely better, but it might not be totally worth the money. Moving on to our first option. This is gonna be the RTX 5070 by NVIDIA. I have these color coded if you hadn't noticed. Um, so green is NVIDIA, red is AMD. I wanna give people both options. I myself like AMD better, um, but I did go ahead and throw in both options because they both offer a uh, really good value. Um, particularly the AMD ones have good value. You can get for a little bit cheaper. We'll get into that in a minute. But first is option one, the 5070. Now this does have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which is going to be four gigabytes more than your 3060 Ti, which is a solid little boost um, in general. MSRP comes in at about 549. Again, it's probably going to be a little bit more than that when you buy it. But overall, this card is pretty good. You're going to see some pretty solid gains by upgrading to this card as a first option. Moving on to option two, this is our first um, of the AMD options. This is a 9070 uh, by AMD. It's got 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So this is pretty solid on VRAM again. I think all these, the rest of the options all have 16 gigabytes uh, for reference. So they're all gonna be very quality for 14, four, 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 they're all gonna be very quality for 1440p gaming because they all have plenty of VRAM for that future proofing, all that sort of stuff. So keep that in mind. MSRP about 549 again, but it's probably gonna again cost you a little more, maybe 100, 150 dollars more than that. I don't know. Depends where prices are if you're buying new. Um, but in general, again, double VRAM, solid gains. You're gonna get good gains. You're gonna have overall good value uh, for this card as well compared to the 5070 because you might be able to find this a little cheaper than the 5070. But generally around that same price point, um, you're gonna be getting a four gigabytes more VRAM than the 5070, which only had 12. 
Um, so overall, they're both gonna give you solid gains. This one does have a little more VRAM, so it's a little bit better, but the price is gonna be very similar. So if you like AMD, this is definitely a good, decent option. Moving on to option three is gonna be the 5070 Ti, again, 16 gigabyte card. MSRP of about $750, but you're probably looking at closer, like $800, but I have seen these on Amazon, I think for like 700 and something. So you can definitely find some decent deals on these. Um, you're getting double the VRAM again, and this is definitely gonna give you, compared to the 3060 Ti, some quite huge meaningful gains in comparison to some of the earlier and budget ones. So this is definitely the one I would go with. Personally, I actually right now have an RTX 3070 Founders Edition, and this is the upgrade I'm looking to make next um, whenever i do at some point unless something new comes out or something changes this is going to be a really solid card for anybody you're going to see some really good meaningful performance gains no matter what title or resolution you're trying to play if you do go from a 3060 ti to a 5070 ti and again price around 800 dollars. all right now we're going to move on to the fourth and final option here this is going to be the 9070 xt this has 16 gigabytes just like the 9070 um did a vram msrp is only 599 for this you're gonna find this for probably more than that um but you do get double the vram you're gonna get huge gains and it's is gonna be cheaper than that 5070 ti we just went over um so you're gonna be getting better value if you do want to go with an amd option here and get the 9070 xt 16 gigabyte um versus getting the 5070 ti because you're gonna be able to save 100 200 bucks maybe somewhere in there depending on what deals you find um, and get very, very similar performance, and it's gonna be a big upgrade from the 3060 Ti. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around until the end, you can check out some of these other videos on the channel. I'll have more coming out very soon.